wanted to talk to you today about the injustice of the world and how upset we get uh, quite often when things don't actually go our way. And I think that this is actually a complete misconception. Um, I've been listening recently to a guy called Ty Lopez and I've signed up to 67 Steps to Success, which is fantastic. I can honestly recommend it wholeheartedly. And one of the things that he's been talking about is deservedness. So before you can have happiness, wealth, anything, you have to be deserving of it. Now, what does that actually mean? What that actually means is kind of intangible in a funny way. Um, but what it what it's really getting at is to say that you have to have done the do. You have to have done what it takes to have this stuff. So, you know, I might be sat here on my bum going, I want a million dollars. Well, what have you done to get that million dollars? But it's so unfair. I haven't got a million dollars. Yeah, but what have you done to deserve that million dollars? Are you worthy of that million dollars? Oh, well, I went and I got a degree. Yeah, and your point is? So... That's deservedness. What have you done? Have you done it? Have you put the hours in? Have you put the brain power in? You know, so much of it is thinking around stuff. You might do loads of stuff, but are you doing the right stuff? Have you bothered to stop and think? Is the stuff you're doing the right stuff? Are you deserving? Are you aware of what's going on in your world? Are you aware of what is required? Have you done the back work? Have you done the reading? Have you gained the knowledge? Then have you taken the, the strategy and implemented that strategy or have you just randomly gone and done stuff because you might think you're being you're not being lazy okay and don't get me wrong I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way right but there are three stages to a plan okay three stages first one knowledge you've got to get the knowledge you've got to know what the hell you're talking about Okay, so if I am going to go and set up a company just randomly, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a ferry service that goes from the UK to the States, which is obviously ridiculous because no one could do that, but I would have to know everything about boats. I'd have to go and I can learn, you can learn anything. So then once I know about boats, I go, right, okay, now I need a strategy. So I need to do X, Y, Z in this order. And I need to work out the pros and the cons and the consequences of doing each and every part of that. Okay? Then I need to implement it. I need to take massive action to implement it. But there's no point missing out either of the two steps. Because if I do, I'm just implementing BS. Basically. So that is the same, especially with any kind of business. You know, you look at an offline business. If you just randomly push ahead with something and you don't have the foggiest idea what you're doing or why you're doing it, you're not going to be successful. You're going to wear yourself out. And I think that's the point. There is an energy as well that you need to be successful, an energy. And you need to perform in a certain state. Now, if you go and you whack through all of your energy and your physical and emotional resources, implementing stuff that you haven't thought through. You're going to knacker yourself out and you're going to be completely useless. And then you're going to turn around, you're going to go, but I work really hard, I deserve success. No, you don't. But it's going to make you feel disheartened. So if that's where you are right now, if you're disheartened, understand. You need the knowledge, then you need the strategy, then you need to implement it. If you miss out any of those steps, you're going to fall flat on your ass. So, my tip for the day, be deserving of what it is you want. Trust me when I say everything that you and I have in our lives right now, we deserve. We deserve. Okay? I'll give you an example, okay? I had a period of time in my, in my 20s when I ended up in a bad relationship. Now, what did I do? I stayed. Why did I stay? That's another conversation, but the point of the matter is, I had some miserable times. I ended up um, being taken advantage of emotionally and financially. Whose fault is that? That is mine. I deserved it because I stayed. Okay, it would have been tough to leave, but I could have done it. And I didn't. I didn't. So I deserved that. 
And I can't now look back and I can't go, oh, the world is so unjust. No, the world is completely just. The world is totally just. You get what you deserve due to the actions that you take. Okay? So be deserving. Think on what would make you deserving. Are you deserving of love? Do you love back? Are you deserving of friends? Are you friendly to other people? Do you bother? You know, for me, that's one of my big things. I am rubbish when it comes to my friends who I love dearly. And luckily for me, they know that I love them dearly back. But that's not enough because I don't see them enough. So I deserve to miss them because actually I don't see them enough. It is my fault. It is my fault. I deserve that situation. Now, once you realize that, you realize that you can turn any situation around should you choose to. If you want to, you can turn any situation around and make yourself deserving and you can do it like that overnight. Okay? You can make yourself deserving overnight. You might not get the results straight away, but you can change it. Change your mindset, change your actions, change your beliefs and change your results. Be the person that deserves what you want. Okay? Have a lovely day.